So I'm going to be doing the pelvimetry assessment. And so here's the pelvis. And this is, I'm going to be going in through this way. So when I would do a pelvimetry assessment, I would have sterile gloves on and lubricant, but right now we're just going without that. And I would go in through the vagina. And first I would feel for the coccyx, which is right there. See if I can feel that and if it's mobile, how far it's sticking out. And then I would feel up the sacrum and see how wide it is, following it up, making sure it's concave. Um, it should be concave and not flat or convex. That would. Um, then we follow up and I have very, very small hands, so I probably should not feel the sacral um, promontory. If I do, that would be cause for concern because that would be um, not a big enough outlet for the baby. Um, after trying to feel the sacral promontory, I would trace the pelvic brim and with my fingers, making sure, and I would not be able to trace the whole thing um, with one swoop because my hands again are small and um, it should be rounded, but I'll note the shape of it. And um, after I'm done with that, um, the man in the video said he would check if the baby is um, if you can feel the baby's head, um, check the fontanelles and stuff, but right now we're just, don't have a baby here. Um, then I would feel the sidewalls, um, down this way and this way, checking to see if they're, if they go in or if they're out or if they're straight. Um, you want them to go in slightly, um. Then I would go down to the ischial spines, um, feeling if they're blunt or if they're prominent or if they're super prominent that they go too far in to the outlet. Um, mine are pretty blunt. They don't go too far in. They are a little bit, just a little uneven on mine, but you'd check to see if they they match, if they're even in the same spots. Um, after that, I would find the sacral notch, which is right here. Um, and I would see, oops, this piece fell off. I would see how many fingers I can fit in the sacral notch, fingertips. Um, this art angle, there we go. If I can fit two or three, looks like I can fit three in there. Um, and then I would check the interspinal diameter by um, seeing if I can touch both ischial spines at the same time. I cannot, because again, short hands, little fingers. Um, so that wouldn't be cause for concern if I could touch them both. And if I had bigger hands and I could touch them both barely, um, that may be okay depending on how far my fingers can go apart. Um, then I would withdraw my hand after that and I would make a fist and fit my fist between the ischial tuberosities to see if all four of my knuckles can fit in there and they can with room, plenty of room. Um, which mine definitely should because of my small hands. And then I would check the super pubic angle. So I would make my thumbs, let's see if I can do this. Take my thumbs and see if I can feel the angle and then pull my thumbs away and check. And it's just shy of um, 90 on this pelvis. It's about 85 to 90 degree angle is what you're looking at. So. This seems to be a 
fairly normal pelvis.